Don't you find it odd that after thousands of tornadoes, thousands of destroyed homes over the years, they never can interview anybody that's been to the dentist? I believe with all my heart that when a tornado hits, the news director at the local TV station, he tells his reporter, get out to the trailer park and interview a dumbass. Hey, I'm Lane. I'm Tian. And this is... Wow! What? Hmm. Hey, this is our reaction show. We want to welcome you to the Tech Talk Club. Lane, as president, uh, you want to call this meeting to order? Of course. Ahem. I call this meeting to order. Order, order, order. I'd like to welcome you to the official meeting of the Dead Comics Club. Uh, Lane, uh, what are we here to do? Well, here at the Dead Comics Club, we pay tribute to the great comics of the past who are no longer with us. They're still killing them. Still killing them. Hey, uh, we've been doing this series, you know, and it's a little bit rough, a little bit rough. We, we're trying to find the next John Panette. Mm -hmm. we've, been doing, we've been doing this series on the we quote, the so-called uh, funniest man in America. Funniest man in America. Mr. James Gregory. We thought we found the quote, redneck Panette. <laughs> Redneck Pinnet. Uh, so we, we watched his first special. We did six episode reaction. And to be honest, I, I think I think it was a C plus. I think it was a C plus. Yeah, he came so highly recommended. Yeah. And maybe we're giving him a hard time because his nickname is called the funniest man in America. Yeah, yeah, in quotations. And um, his website is funniestman.com, right? Mm -hmm. So it's he's, like, he's hey, owning it. He's owning it. Yeah. And uh, people in the comments are like uh, telling us we're kind of, we've been a little too harsh on him. Yeah. Yeah. They're saying, did you read some of it? They're saying, hey, this was his very first yeah, special. Yeah, yeah. Give, give him a break. Give him a break. Like, no first. one, like John Panette wasn't John Panette in his first, like, we, remember, we watched his early stuff. It was, hey, hey, it's Saturday. Yeah. And he's yeah, doing the yeah, chipmunk, like chipmunk, that, chipmunk, you know, yeah, chipmunk, chipmunk rock, uh, right? Uh, Robin yeah, Leach, just they, a lot of impersonations. Yeah, it, yeah, it, that wasn't that wasn't great either. So, mm. so you know, we we realized we got to give um, give Mr. James yeah, Gregory I, a chance. I think we were a little too hard, a little too harsh. Yeah, you can't hold people up to the Panette level. Yeah, one of our uh, viewers they they uh, they told us right that uh, it was it was a reporter or something that. That first called him that, and then and it says the name just stuck. Yeah, go on. That's the thing. I will give yeah. him a chance, but that nickname. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, okay, who was that reporter? Well, he, you know, it's I. Who knows, right? Was he from the uh, Livonia Gazette? You know, it was like. Was he? Uh, it was. I think uh, it was the newsletter of the uh, First Baptist uh, Church Livonia uh, a men's breakfast, um, I mean, like was... like men's retreat talent show. <laughs> It was the, the yeah, Livonia, First Baptist Church of Livonia. Wait, 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 wait. Talent night. So in Georgia, we're saying it wrong. It's not, it's Baptist with a D. It's Baptist. 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 Yeah. You going down down to church, to the Baptist church. Yeah, I'll go here, the funniest man. He's the funniest oh. man in America. Oh, oh James. Jay. Oh, oh bless, bless your heart, child. Jay, man, you, you crack so me funny. up. You make, you make us all laugh here. Oh, you're, well, you're the funniest man you, at First Baptist was, Livonia. Oh no, no, you you're funnier than that, James. You're the funniest man, and you're the funniest man in the South. Oh no, no, you you you. No, no, you're funnier than you're, that, James. You're, you're funnier, funnier than that, you're James. Fun, you're funnier than you're all so, them Yankees <laughs> and those liberal hippies from California. Oh, James, you you. Oh. oh, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Oh, James. don't say it. Don't say it. I'm gonna say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. You're Funniest man in America, Jay. It's funniest oh. man. I said it. I said it. It must be true. Oh. Hey, Buford. It must be true. Buford, write it up in the Livonia oh, Gazette. I, it's the, going in the next newsletter. Oh, Buford. It's going in the next newsletter. Oh. I, I'm going to write it. Oh, first Baptist this own. Funniest man. man in America. I, I think that's how he got his nickname. James Gregory. And yeah, then. That's it. Then he just stuck. And then just. I, I reckon that's right. I reckon that's right. I reckon that's true. You know. In All right, past. so this is what we're gonna do. We're giving yeah. the so-called on his man in America yeah, we, uh, we, we gotta... another chance. 
So I did a little research and the next special that we're going to do, we're going to break it up into six uh, segments, okay. you know, like 10 minutes each. It's like an hour long. We're going to break it up. It, this is from 2009, and I love the title. It's not called The Funniest Man Returns. What happened? It's called uh, Beef Stew for the Brain. Ooh. Beef Stew for the Brain. Ooh. So we're, we're going to okay. see. Hey, we're, uh, we're giving you a chance, Mr. Mr. Uh, funniest yeah. Man in Livonia, Georgia. Yeah, the funniest uh, man. So, okay. Uh, you got to make us laugh, though, right? Like yeah, you gotta make yeah, us laugh, yeah. or else, or else, um, we're we, we're gonna we're not gonna call you the redneck panette anymore. Okay, before we uh, jump into our reaction, oh, yeah, uh, right. oh hey, first we want to give a shout out to some of the some of the people in the community. Oh, uh, hey, some uh, we got some uh, people past winners uh, that they they sent us some pictures. Hey, if, if you got some of our merch. Uh, send us a pic, you know, email us. Take a little selfie. Yeah, email us here at wildwoodgmail.com. Yeah. Right? Uh, the first see. one is uh, Mr. Wendell. This the is uh, window. the window. I think his name is Tim. Uh, he didn't want a t-shirt, but, um, you know, he got a little mug that says, get out of line. <laughs> I, I, I might be scared of Tim. He doesn't, he, he doesn't look, he doesn't look like he messes around. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a well. That's a serious cup of coffee. Yeah, that's a, yeah. Hey, hey, Jen. But yeah, we know you yeah. got a sense of humor. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, but uh, you, yeah, you look like you could uh, throw down there. I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't want to mess with you, Mister, <laughs> Mister Window. Mister, I'm sorry if I offended you, Mister Window. Didn't mean it. Didn't no, mean it. Just, just, no, no, no. Just, yeah. just don't mess. Don't yeah, mess with yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Hey, but thanks, thanks for following us. All um, right. Hey, if you want to win some merch, all you gotta do is you gotta be a subscriber and leave some. Uh, eye popping comments Something uh, nice. that, that our president picks out mm. he is so mm. easily swayed just like you know he hey, doesn't he doesn't get know. affirmation his boss brian oh no his boss brian's a oh, jerk no. brian <laughs> i went to high school with brian i don't know what he said yeah i know you're watching i know you're watching nice so job. so he doesn't get affirmation at work and stuff so if you leave a comment to you know uh but, you, might win. you might win you might win you might right? get picked my win. All yeah. right, so you pick a yeah. comment. You you pick a yeah, winner. Yeah, yeah. Here's our winner. Today. Right. Who's the winner? Here is a <laughs> drum roll. Drum roll. <laughs> it is. What is uh, it? Is uh, Franklin Radford two zero eight nine. Franklin. Franklin Radford. Frankie. Frankie. Oh, that's, a, that's a fancy name. Franklin Radford. Franklin Radford. Man. Congrats. Congrats. Hey, uh, Mr. Mr. Frankie. Frankie Rad. Frankie Rad. Frank Rad. Frank Rad. Frank, Frank Rad. Rad. Frankie Rad. Uh, look through our merch store. Frankie Rad. Frankie Rad. Uh, look through our merch store. Uh, pick out something you like. Tell us where to ship it. Email us here. Wildwatton at gmail.com. And we'll just send it to you for free. Just say thank you. By the way, we're just having fun here. We know that uh, James Gregory, he, he he passed away like a little well over a month ago. Mm. We're we're joking around. Um, we're just big fans of comedy. We we, we want to honor uh, the the people who mm -hmm. you know um, bring so much laughter into the world. Yeah. So yeah. Um, we're just joking That's around. That's why we I started mean, the club. Yeah, yeah. It, it, mm -hmm. it, it's all in good fun. It's all in good fun. Uh, you know, if, if 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 James Gregory was here, he'd be laughing with us. Yeah, yeah. He, we, he, we, he, we'd be joking yeah, with yeah, him. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> right now we're going to be talking about uh, beef stew for the brain. This okay. is two thousand and. Yeah. Yummy. And let's 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 see what uh, Mr. All right, all right, all right. Let's see if he's introduced. I was introduced. Oh, we have a little. Oh, it's an intro. This is a real. It's a real. Uh... Oh, it's, it's ladies like the same and as, gentlemen. As please welcome the funniest man <laughs> oh, in America, yeah, James Gregory. Oh, hey, that's that. That is playing in there. Oh. How the hell are you? I, I hope I look all right. Yeah, I want is, is it just me as it seem like tornadoes in the news more than they used to be? I mean, every week there's a tornado somewhere. Of course, I'm from tornado country. I live in Georgia. And I know there's a lot of heartache. There's a lot of tragedy. We hate to see it on the news. But I got this theory I come up with after a lifetime of watching news coverage or tornadoes. Mm. I believe there's a conspiracy to make those of us who live in tornado country to look ignorant on TV. <laughs> <laughs> you 
Don't you find it odd that after thousands of tornadoes, thousands <laughs> of destroyed homes over the years, they never can interview anybody that's been to the dentist? <laughs> You have never seen on the evening news a tornado victim from a trailer park in a three-piece suit, a monogram shirt, going, yes, this was rather devastating. A tree fell on the Lexus, and there's quite a bit of rubble in our hot tub. This is good. I believe with all my heart that when a tornado hits, the news director at the local TV station, he tells his reporter, get out to the trailer park and interview a dumbass. All right, all right. And try to find one who's married to a fat woman. And hey, listen, have you noticed that, the, that everything's complete, everything's destroyed except for the produce sign? <laughs> and the camera zooms in on that. Tomatoes for sale. <laughs> Spelled with an R. <laughs> 45 cents a pound or two pounds for a dollar. <laughs> Now the whole world knows we can't spell, and hell we can't add either. Yeah. <laughs> and here's the couple they interview. The husband, the head of the household, he's always real sickly, a new looking. Real frail, like 112 pounds. 108 without the belt buckle. <laughs> Wearing a John Deere cap. <laughs> Got that out of the way. <laughs> He's got a tattoo on a wooden arm. <laughs> so he saw a sign at the mall, tattoo it while you wait. He said, hell, I ain't got to wait. <laughs> Got a tire gauge in his pocket. That's in case the trailer don't seem level. <laughs> and he's wearing a key ring with two pounds of keys. What the hell is that all about? There's only three doors in this man's life. Truck, trailer, and tool shed. Now there he says next to his wife. His wife, God bless her, weighs 400. <laughs> Wearing those tight, tight polyester pants. You know, little irrigation ditches in that house. What? Why do they wear that? Don't they know how that looks? I know they're fat, but hell, they're not blind. How can a 400-pound woman put on tight polyester pants, then look in a mirror and go, all right? And she's always wearing <laughs> I just thought of this, I'm gonna throw it in. <laughs> she's always wearing flip flops. Because <laughs> she thinks her feet are her best feature. And sadly, she's right about that. <laughs> oh, 
Ah. And she's always, always wearing a beeper. Let me tell you all about fat people and beepers. They should wear the old kind of beeper, the one that made a noise. They got these modern high-tech ones now. They don't make a noise. They simply vibrate. Well, trust me on this. If you weigh 400 pounds, you're missing calls. <laughs> You'll feel something. You'll just think it's sweat. Yeah. Hey, what does the guy always say about the tornado? I thought it was a freight train. There's not a railroad track within a hundred miles. But this rocket scientist, that's a locomotive just made a left into his driveway. Folks, look, I am, I am not the smartest guy in the world. But I can tell you this, if I was sitting in my den at home, and just thought, just thought, that there's a train <laughs> somewhere near my mailbox. <laughs> my five ass would be out of that. <laughs> and by the way, let me give you a little tip too. You remember a few years ago, where the tornado went downtown Nashville, Tennessee. It went right downtown. Tornadoes just don't go downtown. <laughs> and to make sure that never happens where you live, here's what you need to do. On the outskirts of your city, put up a decoy trailer park. <laughs> Tornadoes, they just, they're, they're attracted to it. That'd be like cheese in a truck. <laughs> Oh, okay. All right. All right. Mr. Gig. Hey, all that stuff. Okay. I take it back. I take it back. That's good stuff. I, I, I haven't laughed. I haven't laughed. I was, uh, I was laughing the whole way. I haven't laughed that much for a little yeah. while. A little yeah. while. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank, uh, thank you, Mr. Gregory. Man. And I, I like it. I mean, dude, um, he was. He's pretty. He pretty was harsh. giving it to him. He was yeah. giving it to him. I like how he pronounces tornado. 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 Or yeah. tornado. 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 So this, this, this is a funny thing. I don't, I don't think I ever told you this story. Uh, Carrie and I uh, and our family, we moved to uh, Little Rock, Arkansas mm -hmm. for a year to, to, uh, for an internship for this uh, residency program we were in. And, uh, like, people don't tell you, like, they do, um, they have tornado sirens, warning sirens. Okay. It's super loud, right? And, but, but they this should be like in a brochure for anyone moving, right? They test that through the whole city every Friday at noon. Really? And I didn't, I didn't get, I didn't catch that for like a month being there. Like every Friday, I'm jumping out. Like what, what's going on here? And it's loud. Uh -huh. And it's like, and you know, you run outside and like it's it's nice uh, blue sky and the birds are chirping. Like what the heck? And, and so they just test the, the siren. You yeah. didn't have to do anything. No, no, they just test it. They just oh, make sure. Okay. So everyone knows. I it's run not outside. like a drill. Or... No, no, they're just like they're just gonna test it. Yeah. So so make sure it works. yeah, make sure it works. Oh. And you know you like kids are you know just at the park. They don't even hear it. But I'm like running outside. <laughs> there. What the heck? What? There's a door. You know. Everyone's used to it. Yeah. They're and literally, <laughs> they didn't tell me. You know, at the work. Oh yeah, they do that every Friday every, afternoon. Ah, uh, that's that's every Friday. Yeah, I'm like every Friday okay. afternoon. <laughs> so, so man, that freaked me out. It freaked me. It took me a month to figure that out. So what what do you think? What do you think of the redneck the net? I like it. I like it. I like it. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah. There there there's some things. It's kind of hard to laugh at 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 uh, people's. Uh, him making fun of you know fat uh, you know uh, overweight uh, women. Yeah. Uh, so so th this is the thing. Okay, John Bennett makes fun of himself. Uh huh. Uh, but he's making fun of his people. Yeah. But he's yeah. saying, but I don't know. So this it's not actually himself. Yeah. I'm I'm thinking. So that's a little bit in between. He's joking about it, you know, and yeah. everyone's laughing. So if we were there, if we like, we would be laughing too if we knew. Mm. I it's guess, one of those things where it's okay to laugh at yeah, I guess, yourself. I guess it's a guilty laugh, mm, mm -hmm. right, that you're feeling. It's funny, though. 
this is good stuff. Hey, I want to thank uh, those of you guys who recommended him. Uh, yeah. yeah. Hey, you guys were right. You guys are right. We're wrong. All right. We we shouldn't have been too harsh on his first thing. Yeah. You know? That's good stuff. But All first right. off, hey, what what do you guys think? What yeah. do you guys think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, uh, let us know. Yeah, you guys, uh, James Gregory fans, what do you guys think? This is pretty good, right? Mm. Mm. Who's first? Who who's the first time watching this? This is yeah. good stuff. And this even thing. you know, some of you are like, oh, I I really don't like him. You know, kind of like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. And let, let us know what you thought about yeah. this one. So uh, catch us on the next one. We're gonna do part two on the next video. But uh, right. hey, hey, thanks, thanks for watching. Can't wait. Yeah. All right. I'm Lane. I'm Tian. And this is wow. wow. What? Hmm. hmm. Hey, did that tornado hit you? Tornado? I thought it was a freight train. <laughs> <laughs>